Hi, this is Mike Bauer with Houston Independent Insurance. I'm explaining today how to set up a login.gov account. When you go to apply for Medicare, you have to have a login.gov account. You can use ID.me, but most people use login.gov to apply for Medicare. So you would go to SSA.gov and you see here, sign up for Medicare. When you, you think, okay, I'll just sign up for Medicare. Well, there's a first step. You got to come over here to sign in. And when you click sign in, it's going to say, uh, here's, if you don't have an account prior to September 18, 2021, you have to have a login.gov account. So you would click on sign in with login.gov and then it would go to the bottom of the page here. It's going to say create an account. So you're going to create an account and you're going to put in your email and they're going to send you an email and you can uh, confirm your email address in that email Then you're going to create a password and then you will set up an authentication method. Now my clients uh, are these five choices. See, we've got three more here at the bottom. My clients uh, normally choose these bottom two, text or voice message and backup codes. At the time of this recording, they're requiring you to have two authentication methods. Now the backup codes, what that will be for is if you lose your phone, you can't get a text message, then you're going to have this list of 10 codes printed out, saved somewhere else, and then you can look up one of those codes, put it in, and log in that way. Then you would click uh, continue. They're going to send you a security code to your phone. You put in your phone number down here, and you will, now we're at the bottom of the page, and then you're going, they're going to send you the code, click send code, and then you put in your code here and click submit. Okay, it says you've created an account online with login.gov. When you say, great, I'm done. No, you have more steps. You're going to now, they're going to say, tell us if you request an activation code. You're going to say no. And click next. And then here, we're at the top of the page. Now we're going down to the bottom of the page. You're going to agree to the terms of service. Click next. And you'll put in your information. Put in your, no, your name, your social security number, your date of birth, the bottom of the page, your address, and then your 10-digit cell phone number. Click next. And now you can add an extra level of security. Here we've got no adding security. And then you can ch uh, choose uh, like text message, for example, here you click next to get your activation code. And now you get this code and you're going to put it in this box here. Cl click on submit activation code. And it says, congratulations, you now have access to secure online services. You click next. They're going to have this here. Uh, you're just bring to terms of services. Click on that. Click next. And now you're in my Social Security account. This is where you can check your Social Security benefits and uh, replace your Social Security card and such. And also you will, after you apply for Medicare, get a benefits verification letter where you can get your Medicare number. Now at this point, what you're going to do is click sign out. Remember your email address and your password because you're going to go back to ssa.gov like we did at the beginning and then you're going to click on that link that says or where it says sign up for Medicare. So you click on that and then you're going to see that screen that says uh, click on login.gov, sign in login.gov and that's where you're going to put in your your email address and your password and then go in and apply. And I have another um, video on that that will explain that. So hope you found this helpful. And if you need any help, uh, reach out to me at 281-787-7358. Thanks.